subscribe to our youtube channel for in-depth interviews of india inc and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates Hello and welcome to Nirmalam, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hiral Daria. We have with us Kunal Shah, Head of Commodities Research, joining in. Kunal, uh, clearly, if you go to see the dollar is trading flat uh, in terms of today's session, uh, there is no economic fresh data that is helping to keep the range tight and the volume low. How do you see it moving from here on? Because Friday, it posted a potentially bullish closing price. I think the dollar index is going to decline further, and it is going to uh, again retest levels of 80 and 50. Uh, the fact remains is that uh, there are no triggers for dollar to move up. Absence of bearish uh, trigger, which can cause strength in uh, dollar, you know. So I'm expecting uh, this weakness to continue going forward. Okay, and with this, what do you make of the gold of gold and silver? Because again, it started to inch higher. Uh, do you think this is the time to start buying gold? I'm bullish on gold and silver, uh, irrespective of what. So, volatility is going to be there, but uh, gold around forty-eight thousand four hundred four fifty, good long position. It can come down to hundred and hundred and fifty rupees from there, but uh, don't worry. 14 48300 should hold for gold and it should move up to 48800 to 900 silver also looks strong 71250300 uh, you can go long uh, 71950 to 72200 should be your target <clears throat> but in fact kunal there's another question coming in aditya has a silver position at 73000 uh, can he hold it to, and he can hold it till 70000 should he wait or exit Yeah, I think he should wait. Seventy thousand, uh, it should not breach. Uh, even though base metals have made the bottom today and uh, have bounced back from there, so I'm expecting seventy thousand should be the bottom for silver in near term, and uh, the trajectory is definitely on the upside. Okay, and another question coming in is uh, with regards to silver intraday and gold intraday. Buy or there should be a sell positionally. No buy. Forty eight thousand, like I said, you know, forty eight thousand five hundred to four fifty buy. Silver seventy one thousand five hundred to four hundred uh, between these levels you can buy. So hundred rupees downside is not a big thing. I'm expecting upside five hundred rupees to six hundred rupees upside in uh, silver and two hundred rupees upside in gold. Right, uh, Kunal. With regards to base metals as well, it seems they're pretty much in correction mode right now. China's yeah. regulatory curbs is something which is spooking traders as well. Uh, are you expecting a downtick in base metals from here? uh yes I, i have been expecting uh, but uh, today we have seen sharp downside so copper can come back till 744 745 i was expecting that on friday also but it kept sliding um the aluminum also uh, 186 uh, around do, those are the levels you know small pullback can come and from there it will again resume the, the downtrend so not expecting because the dollar index is weakening and that is causing commodities to move up Hmm. So, uh, if you want to go short, short around seven forty-five. Till then, two, three, four rupees upside. If you want to go long, you can go long in copper, but uh, still not uh, bullish view. The spikes will come. So the view what we have developed earlier when we had bullish view, we are running with the bullish view. Right now we have uh, bearish view, but same. Uh, you are going to see spikes, and those spikes you should use as a selling opportunity intraday. You can buy for uh, four to five rupees upside. Right, and on terms of nickel, uh, what's the view on nickel? Can you buy nickel at this level? Yeah, with today's uh, low as a stop loss, you can buy twelve twenty one should be your stop loss. Twelve forty to forty five should be your target. Nickel uh, can also bounce back in line with the, what we are seeing in copper. Right. So, in fact, Piyush has a question on the same. If you see any bounce to twelve forty five in nickel, as he has. He's been stuck in a with a buy call on Friday. Uh, well, I think you can, uh, Piyush. You can see some uh, pull back in nickel today. Uh, metals are looking, in spite of very bearish news from China, they are not going down. So you can see some bit of strength, some bit of pull back. So you should hold on to long position. Right, uh, Kunal. With regards to crude as well. you have seen some bit of an uptick that has come in in today's session however 
Last week was the first weekly loss that we had seen in May. Uh, Iran nuclear deal, weak demand. These are few of the things which caused a downtick in terms of crude. But from today's session, how do you see it? From today's session point of view, crude oil, uh, you can sell the rallies 47.60, 47.70. Because uh, the fact is that Iran a nuclear deal is going to happen this week we are going to see and this week we also have a uh, uh, this opec meeting so i think uh, for 477060 one should sell crude oil 4820 stop loss 4690 4670 should be the target okay so that's coming in with regards to where crude goes and uh, kunal anything with regards to natural gas in the evening session uh natural gas uh, i'm not bearish uh 204 205 levels to go long 199.50 should be a stop loss 212 214 should be your target right so that's with regards to where natural gas is concerned i think we've answered all the other questions as well that have come in thank you kunal thank you participants Thank uh...